Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Kevin Conway here. As some of you know, I am part of the Locker Gnome community. I'm mostly on LockerGnome.net, as well as sometimes in the live chat room. And uh, there are plenty of other places that you can find the community if you go look. So, um, one of the things that I've been working on a uh, project in my spare time is a natural user interface for Windows. Microsoft released the Connect SDK or Software Developers Kit about a week ago. So tons of us have been going in there and seeing what we can do with it. And none of the demos that they showed actually interacted with Windows. They were all games and stuff. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, we have the technology today to have the minority report set up, right? Have you seen that movie? Well, I don't quite have one gigantic screen, but I hope this is close enough. <clears throat> and what I do have is the gesture recognition. Apparently, I've just enabled gestures by accident, but that's okay. So, for example, I have a gesture to switch between my active windows. results, evidently. I have a gesture for, let's say, I can't see very well because I'm like six feet away. So I'm going to zoom in. And now I'm going to go zoom in. And now I'm going to go walk around the room. The Connect sees where I'm walking and uses my hip position to scroll the entire screen from side to side. And my left hand can scroll vertically. And so forth. So that's zooming in and out. Um, those are the parts that actually work right, right now. Um, I'm also working on building a navigation system. So, let's see, I'm gonna take this. I can go ahead and grab this window and just put it anywhere I want. Unfortunately, I, I can't do it by pointing at the screens because the connect is over here and it doesn't know where my screens are. And then I can just drop that window anywhere I want. Now the navigation system I'm working on is this little circle over here, which is going to be like the pie menus that you see in The Sims. There, hope you can see it there. Oop. So, you're going to put your hand out, this pie menu comes up and you'll be able to go like this into the submenus and so forth, just like in The Sims. Except it's for Windows. To me, that seems like a natural way to navigate the software programs, documents, and so forth in your computer. And uh, <clears throat> we have the technology to replace the mouse now, you know. We'll still need it for a while for fine-tuned things like photoshopping things and, and uh, manipulation of 3D things like that. But I think some of our tasks, some of our workflows can start to be supplanted with this kind of technology. Disable. Yeah, I actually kind of took the minority report idea to enable gestures that way as well. So that's what I've got for now. You can find the project at connectnui.codeplex.com where I've open sourced it, put it available for download. You might need to tweak a few things to get the sensitivity settings the same because, uh, for example, you probably don't have a 7,000 pixel wide desktop. Um, let's see here, so leave a video response with your implementation of this project or of some other Connect project that you're working on. Uh, the, the Connect SDK is for .NET languages, so if you know any of those, this is a great project for you to work on in your free time. If not, this is a great project to work on to learn one of those languages. I'm just saying. So, let me know what you've been working on.
because I would like to see more of a of an actual connect community, which they do exist. The connect communities are out there, but I think it would be nice if if they would all be one community. Am I making any sense? You're on one, and, and you're different people. Yeah, you understand what I'm talking about. So. Uh, like I said, you can find me on Locker Gnome. I'm in most of the Locker Gnome places as TSILB. Uh, LockerGnome.net for Q&A, questions and answers. Uh, Live.prillo.com is a chat room where you can often find me uh, in Chris Perillo's chat room. And uh, let's see, YouTube.com slash Chris Perillo is where you're going to find this video. You can find my videos. Uh, I'll let you guess my username on it's the same everywhere. So thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you're doing, because I cannot be the only one doing fun things with this SDK.